Hello and welcome to the latest video from UCSGrew.com. My name is Colin Lynch and in this video we'll be setting up Cisco Intersight. I was in Barcelona at Cisco Live last week and there was lots of talk about Intersight, uh, about how much uh, R&D is going into Intersight and how much additional functionality uh, will be added into Intersight in future releases. So I thought it was high time that I set up an Insight account and registered some devices to it. So I thought while I'm at it, I may as well record it. So you may have heard of Insight or uh, Starship as it was known during development, uh, but it's basically the cloud management uh, SaaS offering uh, from Cisco uh, to monitor and manage your UCS B series, C series and Hyperflex systems, uh, as well as integration with UCS Director. Uh, so you can add all your converged, hyper-converged, standalone compute platforms under one monitoring and management uh, cloud-based tool. So there's a, a two options for licensing. Uh, you've got the base license, which is free, uh, which gives you, you know, basic monitoring, uh, automatic TAC uh, service request logging, um, service bundle uploads, uh, and things like that. And then you've got the essential license, which is a monthly uh, fee on a per device basis. Uh, so a subscription model and that adds functionality. So you get all the functionality of the, the base license, but it adds functionality like uh, KVM, uh, the hypervisor monitoring and software uh, deployments, as well as uh, checks with things like the hardware compatibility list. Um, I'm sure we've all had issues in the past where we've had um, out of date you know, FNIC or ENIC drivers in ESX causing issues. Uh, so the ability to monitor them uh, you know, globally across your organization from a central uh, management system, I'm sure will, will you know, be well received. Okay, so let's get straight in and set up our account. So you want to go to um, Intersight, so that's Intersight.com. So we will need a Cisco CCO account. Um, if we don't have one, we can set one up by clicking the you know, Create One Here button, uh, but I do have one. So I'm gonna sign in with my Cisco ID. This is the first time I've signed into Insight with this account. So although it's a valid CCO account, it hasn't signed into Insight before. Okay, so it's saying no associated Insight account. So let's create one. And it's pretty quick. Okay, we'll accept that. Oh, I need to scroll right down to the bottom before it let me accept it. Account name, so this either is your name or whatever account you're dealing with. So I'm putting this into our solution center, so that's where I'll give or call it. Okay, so now this is the first time I'm setting up my uh, Insight account, so it's asking me for a device ID and a claim code for my first device that I'm going to register with it. Um, so in order to do that, I need to jump onto my um, element manager of whatever device I'm going to add, um, whether that be a, you know, a standalone C-series, a B-series, uh, or a Hyperflex system, or a UCS Director instance. Uh, so let's just jump into one of our flex pods here. Uh, okay. We'll get that claim code. Okay. 
Okay. So if we go into our admin tab, right down the bottom, we should see a device connector option. Now I think this option came in in uh, UCS Manager 3.2. So anything uh, beyond that, you should have that device connector. You'll need DNS obviously configured on your uh, UCS Manager instance, as well as um, internet access. And if you don't have direct internet access, uh, out from your UCS manager you can configure a proxy so you would go into the settings up there and configure your proxy uh, this UCS manager does have a direct uh, a connection out to the internet so I shouldn't need proxy for this instance um, okay in fact you'll know it's got internet access because I'm seeing a claim code now that claim code means it's actually gone out to the uh, Intersite instance and has done a little authentication and has given me back that uh, claim code. Uh, so you see, I've got Intersite management uh, enabled there. So you can turn that on and off. Okay, so it's that device ID and claim code that my Intersite account is asking me for. So let's copy that paste in. So device ID. and our claim code and then that should do a little two-way handshake and establish an encrypted SSL tunnel oh my Okay, so obviously I didn't like that dash, so our account has been created successfully, so let's log in. So I get my little welcome screen, so I can do the little video tours, um, you know, learn how to claim a device. We've just claimed our first device. Um, you can also learn how to add users and groups uh, to give you some role-based access control. So again, uh, you'd add uh, either CCO accounts of other users there and whether you wanted them to have read-only or read-write access to any of the devices. And then you could use groups to further subdivide those devices either into tenants or clients or however uh, you wanted to manage that. Let's just close that. So immediately see I've got eight healthy servers so I can use my little pop out button there to have a look at my dashboard my servers okay I'll put a little issue there okay so that's telling me I have a looks like some dim issues in that one blade this is a flex pod I've just added in so it's got some fabric interconnects okay if I click devices I can see I have our demo flex pod connected and our device IP addresses, our device ID and who's claimed it. And that's my CCO ID there. Okay, so let's add another device just to make things a bit interesting. So I'm going to now go into where are we? devices and claim a new device. Okay, let me get another ID. So let's now add a Hyperflex system in. Uh, so for, to add a Hyperflex, I'll now go to my Cisco Connect instance, which is a process that runs on uh, one of the Hyperflex nodes. And we'll log in as root. Okay, so we're into our Hyperflex Connect. So if I go into my edit settings box up there. Now this instance of Hyperflex is in a more secure location. It does not have direct internet access out. Um, so I'm going to have to configure the proxy for this to get out to the internet. But I want to go into my device connector. Okay, so I'll turn on our 
Insight Management. Let's say there's network error, it's not seeing Insight. I'm seeing to have my device ID, but I'm not seeing my claim ID. So let's go into Settings and we'll add, we'll allow Control. So again, that's where you'd set whether you want read only or allow control from the the cloud GUI. Uh, but let's add some proxy information in. Enable our proxy. Uh, so I have a squid proxy at 172.22.140.101. Okay, we put our port in, which is 31.28 for squid. And successfully, OK, so we've immediately got our claim code, so I know it's gone out to Intersight. So again, it's this device ID and claim code I need to copy and paste in. Go back to our Intersight instance, device ID, and our claim code of our Hyperflex. And we'll claim that. OK, so now we have our Hyperflex cluster in registered with Insight as well. So again, if I have a look at my dashboard, so we've got our Hyperflex cluster, our Fabric Interconnects. So again, it's a, a single pane of glass for all my compute that I've now registered with it. So immediately I've got a complete aggregation of all my uh, health statistics. So I can immediately see, you know, I've, I've got that critical issue there, which is my uh, memory issue of that um, blade in that FlexPod. And if I go and have a look at my Hyperflex cluster, I can see now I have a Hyperflex cluster that is registered. I can see my you know, main um, elements there, how much storage I'm using, and I'll go back to my devices. I have a, just on the end here, I have a launch element manager, so I can launch my UCS manager, we want my Hyperflex Connect, so I can do that all from Intersight, again over the uh, cloud web UI, so if I just launch UCS manager from here. So you'll see here that that's going via Insight.com. So again, although this um, communication is from Insight into my uh, uh, FlexPod, the actual traffic is initiated from within the uh, premises. So it's actually using that SSL tunnel, but because the traffic is initiated from uh, the uh, device in this case, I don't need to set up um, NAT or any inbound firewall rules. It's all done. Uh, through this SSL tunnel via the cloud uh, web GUI. So again, so I've just logged into that and I, I don't have anything, any remote access configured to this. This is all via Intersight and this could be on my you know, mobile device or a laptop. So, so it's a great way of having you know, remote access into your environment even if you don't have remote access configured. Okay, so let's now just go ahead in our fabric interconnects from our Hyperflex cluster. Okay, so exactly the same thing. Let's Okay, so there's our Hyperflex Connect instance, our Hyperflex cluster, and our FlexPod. So let's see how our picture's building up.
Okay, so I'm going to see my high flex nodes. And fabric intellects. Okay, so that all looks good. So I've got all my devices in now. So definitely worth having a play about with Hyperflex. So I mean, as I say, the, the license is, is free for the base license. And if we have a look at our... Our license button. I think normally if you just try and use a, a licensing feature, it will tell you what you're currently running. So we are currently running the base license. And again, for that uh, subscription uh, fee, we can upgrade to the essentials license uh, to enable those additional features. So again, base license is free. Um, so again, if you've got you know, proxy access out to the web, uh, for your equipment, um, in my opinion, you know it's a, a no-brainer to set up an Intersight account. Get familiar with it. There's going to be loads of functionality added to Intersight. Um, so have fun, have a play about with it. And I say, if you've got no uh, production environment that you'd like to add to Intersight as yet, um, you can just add UCS Platform Emulator environments to it and have a play with Intersight that way. So until next time, um, my name is Colin Lynch and. I'll speak to you soon.